Welcome back like to part 6 of our episode. So part 5 we did the 2 player. But this time, we're gonna be doing the icons. As you can see in the thumbnail of my game, we have the word icons. So, I hope you already got your icons. If you don't, I recommend getting them. I have Pico's icon for my Pico, because I got Pico. And the dead Pico icon. And my, I made my own icons for my player when he's winning. And for my player when he's losing. Alright. So, I want to put the main flag. As you can see, they don't show up. I'm going to make sure they show. First things first. As you can see. So, first up, we gotta make sure when so make it so that it shows. So, if you have a thumbnail, then I would recommend you just if you you do this. If you don't have a thumbnail, just grab one green flag, click show. If you don't, if you don't do have a thumbnail, then grab one green flag, click hide. When I receive hide all show. So, on green flag, it she showed. Put my player icon shows over there. So I didn't do it for Pico's icon yet. Alright, so for this icon, we're gonna go ahead and make it actually switch. So all I'm gonna do is grab when uh, I'm gonna have to make it to that one key. Um, uh, uh, key. Alright. Oh, pressed. I wanted to switch costume to player losing. And going green for a quick switch uh, and when key and when key or uh, key K pressed wait K K K where is K K we have to switch cause no player winning icon I also want to switch I which costume to player winning icon so when green flag clicked as you can see when you put the O it switches. I want to play, it switches back. So we have our own. But now, but, but this is not it. As you can see, the background switching. As you can see, the background is moving with it, is bouncing, but the icon is. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and make sure. For, another thing I'm going to do is make sure it sets its size to 75. Alright. And then we're going to go grab when I when I receive beat. We want it to forever. Sets. Let's see what it looks like at its eighty size. Eighty. So it sets size back. Set size to eighty. Set size to eighty. Then we can just grab a weight. How how much is the background bouncing? How much? So it is bouncing every second. So that's why it's gonna bounce every second too. Set size to seventy five. And as you can see, I'm gonna make it so when I see. Alright. As you can see, it's actually the icon's actually moving where it's going. So to fix this, I'm gonna make sure that I set it size to 75 so I know what X and Y is. Oh yeah, I also wanted to go to X and Y. So what we're gonna do is when green flag clicked, we're gonna grab a if if so I'm gonna grab a equal I'm uh, I, I'm gonna go ahead and grab so I'm gonna go to looks and grab a size and if size is equal to 80 then I want it to go to where it is right now And I uh, put this in the far the loop so I can see. All oh, it's all this stays where it's been. And as you can see when we go, it switches. And also I'm gonna add another Easter egg. 
So when this sprite is clicked, I want it to change its color effect by 25. There we go. So as you can see, it's going to be the same color for her. And it's going to be, and all the code's going to be very similar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, go do the exact same thing. Pico. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So when green flag click, go to X and Y, show, no, hide. Set size to 75. 75. When I receive a high at all, or click show. And then I'm going to go ahead and get into the real coding. When key, um, I'm going to make it Q. And oh, so many keys. I even added the posing thing, which I'll show you how to make after this. When key Q press, switch cost, oh yeah, so also switch cost in the Pico normal, switch cost in the Pico then, then when key E pressed, switch cost in the Pico out normal, and then I'm just going to grab the bouncing effect and put it on our friend Pico, and then I can go grab this and make and make it always stay where it is. Where is it right now? Alright, I need to change this just in case. Negative 200. Negative 77. So as you can see, we have, we may have made our game work. As you can see, I'm just going to change this now. 0 0.5 0 0.5 Okay, Pico is going to see I'm not going to change this to 0 0.5 Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, down here How did the bouncing thing get down here? Anyway, 0 0.5 I'm also going to make this line up with it, 0 0.5. Oh yeah, we'll do it for a quick time to go. Okay, now So I'm going to have to go down here and to make the bouncing effect a little better I'm going to add 0 0.075 0 0.075 So as you can see in this short little video we worked on the icons as you can see I'll click Q it switches to the dead icon for Pico and we'll click back and then we'll click E it switches back same for the player we'll click L no not L and we'll click K that. I'm gonna end the video and